Well, welcome back to another cabin update. As you may have guessed already by the presence of dust sheets today, I'm going to start painting the interior upstairs here. So yesterday I put some masking tape round strategic places on the ceiling. The idea is I'm going to do along here and along there and then whatever else I can get done of the interior walls today. Um, we've gone for white, we thought that would look quite nice um, against our beautifully varnished floor. And then still undecided what we're going to do, do about the ceiling yet. So set up my area. We've now got Wi-Fi out here, which is really handy. So I don't have to use my data when I'm listening to things as we go along. And this is what we've got. Uh, professional undercoat from Dulux, brilliant white forward and metal. So I'm going to be using that the undercoat, everything else all set up. Windows are open because this one's solvent based so I need to make sure I've got plenty of ventilation and it's freezing today so like I've got coats and hats and everything on. So yes we are ready to go. I will uh, do a bit more when I've done as much as I can for the day I think. See you in a bit. And just like magic it's turned white. Um, so this is a couple of weeks later now, it's taken me a while um, around work, um, but we've done that one and these kind of sticky out bits around to there. I haven't touched the stairwell yet because it's just going to be really difficult um, to paint, but I've done those alls. We're leaving this one because we're intending to insulate this wall because um, this is a south facing wall. Um, and we noticed in the summer that the logs were getting quite warm there so we're insulating it primarily to reduce how hot it gets in the summer rather than how cold it gets in the winter um, but we're just going to do that wall there I've done this wall and this wall and as you can see in this room as well so this is looking nice we've had to move the bed out into the middle um, but I have done all four walls here in the undercoat it's taken a while um because painting does and also so i can't use a roller because um it's kind of in between each log it goes in you can see there it goes in and out again so it's not a flat surface i've needed the brush to get in those grooves and it's just not worth switching between brush and roller really um, especially because it's quite fiddly around the rafters and things as well. Um, it's also quite stodgy paint, I think that's the idea because it's for wood um, it's to stop it absorbing too much um, into the wall. But yes, that is the undercoat done. <laughs> 